welcome back to my channel. I'm Open Rach, and today you are going to meet our brand new family. Well, not really a family. There are eight sims that we're going to go through, and I'll show you which one is going to be our main character throughout. If you haven't seen already, we are doing the Asylum Challenge this uh, series. So for this one, there are eight characters, but I am only allowed to control one. Now, just as a bit of a disclaimer at the start, this series is in no way here to make fun or light heart of any mental illness or any facilities. This is just a bit of a challenge for a bit of fun. But on a serious note, if you are struggling from any sort of mental health um, issues, then please go and get yourself some help. Um, whether that's from a GP or a doctor's. So, getting straight back into it then, we have our first sim. Our first sim is Disco Dave. Disco Dave has been put into this asylum due to his excessive, excessive need to dance and go to parties and disco. He is a young adult um, who has the erratic traits. His traits include the erratic traits, he is also a dance machine and a music lover. Now, that isn't much of a surprise considering he's called Disco Dave. His aspirations include being a musical genius and therefore he's going to be a muser. Next up we have Clown Clara. Now, Clown Clara has been put into the asylum because of all the clowning around she does. She has never stopped from being a child to being an adult. All she does is mess around, clown around. She is erratic and then she is childish and she is also clumsy. Perfect characteristics for a clown. Now, her aspirations, she's a joke star. So what she wants to do is be Gregoricious. That is her aspiration. We have Chef Shaw. Now she is going to be our main character throughout this whole Asylum Challenge. She is going to be the only one that we can control. She is a wannabe chef. She's been put into the Asylum for the extreme amount of chefing and food eating and talker food. She has never stopped. She is erratic. She's a foodie. And she's also very nosy, which, you know, for a chef, you've got to want to know those ingredients, right? Her aspiration is to be a master chef and the essence of flavour. Now, Lazy Lenny has been put into the asylum for, well, you guessed it, being lazy. He's just never done anything. He's never got a job. He's never gone out and been himself. He's just always just stayed at home and sat on the sofa. So we put him in the asylum to hopefully bring him out of his character and to become less lazy. He is erratic, he's lazy, and he's also evil. His aspiration is to be the chief of ma mischief and be distardly. Next we have Animal Anna. She is obsessed with animals. From a young age, that's all she's spoken about. Cats, dogs, llamas, you name it, she wants it. Her obsession got so much that one day she dressed herself in a costume and never got changed out of it. This has been her costume from a young age and she just will not get changed. So with her being such an animal lover, her traits include being an animal enthusiast, She's also very jealous if she sees her, she's someone with an animal, she wants it. She's also erratic. Her aspirations include being friends of the animals and animal affection. Next you've got Super Sarah. Now Super Sarah, she has always, always believed she is Superwoman. She believes she can fix everything go everywhere to the point where she put on an outfit one day and went I am Super Sarah and nothing can change that. She's erratic, she's self-assured but she's also a kleptomaniac and because of her thinking she's Superwoman she can get anything she wants. She has an obsession with being an athlete so she wants to be a bodybuilder with a high metabolism. Now you guessed it, this is Santa Sam. Santa Sam is just obsessed with Christmas. The obsession with Christmas went so far he believed he was Santa himself. 
He was admitted to the asylum because of his obsession with Christmas. Christmas lights, Christmas trees, Christmas presents. At a young age, he believed he could help Santa. So he got changed into his self Santa outfit and never got back changed out of it. His traits include being erratic, socially awkward and a bookworm. He wants to be a best-selling author. He wants to sell books all about Christmas and Santa. But not least we've got Easter Eddie. Easter Eddie is obsessed with Easter. The chocolate, the bunnies, the gifts. What more could you want? To the point where he wanted to be an Easter bunny. He is erratic. He hates children and he is very self-absorbed. He is the seeker of secrets and is the star me. Well, we're going to go into the main house now so you can see them all there together. Now, just for a little reminder of these uh, rules that we're going to be playing with. We will be playing on medium mode. I can only control one sim and that's going to be Chef Charles. We have to complete three aspirations before we can leave the house and only two of our patients are allowed to work. We can only leave the lot between seven and five. However, we have to leave as a pack of eight or eight of us have to go in one go. Okay, the house was quite limited so we could only have one sink, one shower, one toilet, one PC or one TV but we can't have both. We can only have five bed spots and six spots to sit down and we were allowed up to five skill building objects but PCs, mirrors, TVs, bookshelves, stoves etc do not count. We have 500 simoleons to start so we are going to need um, to get two of our sims to go to work. We, we're going to need that little bit of money especially when you know cooking costs so much. The lifespan of the, span of the sims is going to be normal um, and every other sim is going to have three wills so they'll look after themselves. And the last thing is we cannot uh, rearrange any of this furniture. Once it's there, it's there. Now we have let everyone settle into the house. They have all been talking with each other. They've stood around the barbecue, had a bit of a snack. You can see Eddie there talking to himself. I feel like that's going to be something common. So we're going to just play through the first day or so of this challenge. Shall, what are you doing? You've got your binoculars out. Okay, so our nosy nature has already come out by the looks of it. Got to love that. It looks so chaotic already. Everyone is there. Sarah, what are you mad at? Can't even tell. Let's do some painting. Figure painting, okay, a hundred millions. It's quite a lot, but we should make that money back, so that shouldn't be too bad. Animal and uh, Super became good friends, but Super's sleeping. That doesn't really make sense. How can you make friends while you're sleeping? Let's go back to Charles and her um, less than fabulous painting, I guess, but you know, that's fine. Money's money at the end of the day. Let's sell it. 107. Ah, it's not the end of the world. It's not too bad. Okay, let's do some cooking. We're gonna make some milk bread. Okay, let's do that. This is going to help with our aspirations, as, uh, which will be great because obviously we need to fulfil three before we can leave. First cooking skill, brilliant. One of many to come. Oh wow, look, everyone's together. Now, I was a bit silly and I didn't uh, record sound on um, this. <laughs> so uh, you can't hear this beautiful, beautiful singing that is uh, being sung right now. Just imagine some sort of beautiful opera, but a million times worse. <laughs> right, I think we'll leave it there for today. Um, I'm going to continue recording this and I will have a second episode out for you soon. I hope you all have a great week and I'll see you next Sunday.